What is up coconuts? It's Eliza and it's time for March Winks. Monthly Winks is a monthly video that I do on this channel Mia, where I talk about things that I learned or tried in the month prior that brought joy and value into my life. I should also mention that none of my monthly Winks videos are sponsored by any of the people or brands or anything that I mention in these videos. I mean, come on, let's be real. I got 41 subscribers, so obviously I'm not gonna get any sponsored deals, but I just thought that I should probably put that out there. First link that I have for the month of March, I'm actually wearing right now, and it is Gymshark Athletic Apparel. But you might be thinking, Eliza, have you been living under a fucking coconut? Gymshark has been around since forever. I know, I just haven't gotten around to trying them until recently. I decided to try Gymshark because two of my old pairs of leggings like kind of fell apart, so I had to get rid of those and I decided to get some really good, oh my goodness. I decided to get some really good quality leggings to replace those two that I got rid of. So let me um, show you fully what I'm wearing. Okay, you gotta go down. All right, so this is the full outfit. Ooh, ah, mmm, that's it, I'm not going. So as you can see, sorry, I'm trying to like fit in the frame. I got a crop top and these bottoms, and then I got actually the same top and same bottoms, just in two different colors. I got the same top in black, well, it's inside out, but it's in black, exact same top, and then the exact same bottoms in this like dark pink color. When I first pulled these out of the packaging, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit like, uh, yeah, there's no way that these are going to go on. But miraculously, they did. They are tight, but when I looked in the mirror, I was like, whoo! Who is she? And I was really, really impressed with how they fit once they were on, even though they look ridiculously small off. They just stretch a lot. And just for size reference, I am just under 5'6", and I weigh about 131 pounds, and I'm wearing the small and everything, and it all fits really, really well. I think I could have gone up to a medium and also have been comfortable, but the small fits me fine. But yeah, I really have no complaints about anything with the Gymshark apparel. I've worn them several times to the gym now, and they are so comfortable to work out in. They are so stretchy, and they breathe, so I don't feel like like I'm getting too hot when I wear them, even though they're long sleeved. I've never worked out in long sleeve shirts before, so I was a little bit nervous about that, but I definitely feel like the material is so breathable. I do not overheat at all. I also don't have any issues with camel toe. I was watching some review videos about um, Gymshark apparel. Okay. Anyway, I was watching some review videos about Gymshark Apparel before I decided to get it, and I saw some people complaining that they had camel toe with it, and I mean, excuse me, Mia, uh, there's no camel on this toe, I think I'm good. The only uh, downsides I would say that I noticed is that the leggings do not have pockets, and that's why I'm currently wearing a sports bra underneath here. Not because I really need to, this gives total coverage, it's not sheer at all, but I wear the sports bra because I stick my phone in there. So that's kind of a downside, but whatever. None of my leggings have ever had pockets before, so I'm kinda used to it. But other than that, very happy with this purchase. I'll definitely be buying Gymshark again in the future. Gymshark Apparel gets a wink. Okay, next wink that I have for you actually has like two sub winks within it. The overarching wink is the Vegan Street Fair LA that I went to in March. Now I already made a vlog about this, so I'm not really gonna talk about the event a whole lot. I will link that vlog down below if you wanna see more footage from that. But then the two sub links within it are two things that I tried at the Vegan Street Fair that I loved that each get a link. First one is Bohemian Bowls. I have been wanting to get some coconut bowls and coconut utensils for a while now because like, how can I be Eliza Coconut if I don't have a fucking coconut bowl, hello? And while I was at the Vegan Street Fair, one of the stalls was for a brand called Bohemian bowls and they had all kinds of different coconut and bamboo products and I ended up buying two bowls chopsticks and a spoon which let me show you these actually were not shown in the vlog because they were all wrapped up at the time but these are the bowls that I got so now I can eat my smoothie bowls out of a coconut like a real hippie and yeah I love them I love little detailing around the edge so I got these two and then I got these chopsticks and this spoon and they just make like smoothie bowls so much more 
fun. Things to know about these are you cannot use them for hot foods. You really only want to use them for ice cream, smoothies, um, salads, stuff like that. So you do have to be a little bit careful and you also cannot let them soak. They are not the kind of thing that you can leave in your sink. So just something to note. But anyway, super happy with that purchase. Again, the brand is called Bohemian Bowls. I will link like their website or Instagram or whatever down in the description. Go check them out. Bohemian Bowls. Got a wink. And the next sub wink from the vegan street fair wink is Coco Bella Creamery ice cream, which um, I did talk about a little bit in the vlog, so I won't talk about it too much again, but it was so freaking good. It deserves its own wink. So I have slowly been going more and more vegan over the last like couple of years. And one of the things I had really been struggling with was ice cream because I freaking love ice cream. It's always been a very comforting food for me. Oh, come here. <laughs> and it was something that I was having a lot of trouble giving up and all the vegan ice creams that I've tried are okay but just not quite the same a lot of them are kind of grainy or they're kind of icy like really uh, I just haven't really found one that's satisfied in the same way as regular ice cream until I tried Coco Bella Creamery their ice cream is coconut based and it tasted like fucking real ass ice cream just knowing that Coco Bella Creamery is a thing that exists definitely makes me more confident that I could give up ice cream dairy ice cream in the Okay, and last wink that I have for the month of March is more of an honorary wink, I guess, because it's not really something that I tried or learned exactly, but it was something fucking awesome that happened in March and it deserves a wink. And that is that my gaping leg wound finally closed over and I am so freaking happy. I did not talk about this when it happened because I was really embarrassed by it. Basically, I was doing box jumps at the gym and I slipped. Oops. My feet just did not make it to onto the box and instead my shin made it onto the box. I was wearing shorts, I was not wearing leggings and it the box took a huge chunk of my skin off of my leg. I mean, I'm obviously gonna have a scar, mm. but it's cool, it's okay. I mean, I wish I had a cooler story for it than like I slipped doing box jumps. I wish it was like anything cooler than that. But on that note, because it is looking pretty scarific right now, if you know of any good scar remedies, I would love to know them. Please put them down in the comments because I'm trying to like, have this not be super obvious looking forever. So anyway, gaping leg wound gets an honorary wink. Okay guys, well that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed all the things that I gave links to this month. And if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, please put them down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.